What's up, everybody? I know. It looks a lot different, right? So this was the wall where the table was. Little jukebox thing right here. There was a dartboard over here. Some Coke advertisements and the uh, big gumball machine that looked like a rocket ship. This is Star Wars Episode One Racer, okay? So this is that corner. As much as I love that corner, that style, it was time for a change. I decided to paint it. It's now what I call PlayStation Blue. <laughs> so the walls over here have been PlayStation Blue for a, quite a while. And it was time to change the theming over here. The grand plan is maybe to bring the PlayStation 4 kiosk down here. Set that up over in this area. Put some shelving in so I can display some things. So I want to show you guys that off the uh, bat. This is going to take me a while. There's a lot of stuff down here. And I really want to figure out what I want to do before I start putting things over here. And I put some stuff on Facebook Marketplace, some furniture that was down here to try to get rid of it to make some more room. So I wanna do this, I wanna have it done, but it might take a while. So next couple of videos down here might look a little weird. Now it's kind of ironic that I'm down here with our first pickup video with the uh, PlayStation Blue paint. Um, and the first thing I pick up is a PlayStation lot. I got stuff from PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 4. Ironically, no PlayStation 3. I guess he skipped that one. Um, but yeah, I met up with this guy. He must have been like 60 years old, Navy veteran. Thank you for your service. And a uh, really cool guy. And um, he had a bunch of stuff that was awesome. Um, the two coolest things I'm going to put at the end, but it's really cool. One of them has something to do with Blockbuster video. So first thing is we'll start in order of the playstation stuff so a lot of these games i have already and it's crazy this actually has a price tag on it so we got driver 2 uh 99 cents he picked that up for that's kind of crazy uh i already have multiple copies of that game so we're gonna be selling that namco museum volume one i wish this was the uh, big n um if you don't know they actually have a series of these that actually spell out namco um so that's pretty cool i'd like to get them all some of those are very expensive He's in, obviously, the retro stuff because we have Atari. So we have some Atari games now. You could pick up something very similar to this on the Nintendo Switch now, so this isn't really necessary. He must have really liked the driver games because we got another one. Here is a game that's right up my alley, Twisted Metal 2. Um, I played a lot of Twisted Metal back in the day. Love this series. Um, absolutely fantastic games. If you haven't played Twisted Metal, it's fantastic. I think the last Twisted Metal game... Might have been on the PlayStation 3, possibly the PlayStation 4. Um, I do have a copy of something that's a little bit newer than this. Uh, but there's, I think there's up to four of these on the PlayStation uh, 1. So I already have this one. We're going to be selling that one. And this one I never heard of, Bloody Roar. Uh, this was like a $50, $60 game, actually. This was the most valuable game. Looks like a fighting game. I've I've never seen this game before. I'm not. I was never into the fighters, so I don't know much about this particular game. Um, so if you guys know anything about this game, maybe uh, leave something in the comments below. I'm going to be adding this to the collection. Don't know anything about it. Oh, no. And uh, there's another. Okay, there, it's in there. Another game's in there. Tony Hawk. But that game's in there, too. So we're all right. So we got Tony Hawk in there. That's also PlayStation 1. But there's no case for that one. That's weird. Okay, next, we got a bigger stack. We got a stack of PlayStation 2 games. So we got Medal of Honor. I actually still have my copy. This brand new sealed. Never played it. In his picture, I couldn't figure out what this was. I could not figure out what this thing was. I was like, what is that? I couldn't read it. Now I can see that it's a reprinted label, and it's actually a GoldenEye Rogue Agent. So never got into the GoldenEye games. I know the one for the N64s, uh, the two for the N64 are really popular. Um, also snowboarding, never got into the snowboarding games. There was a really cool snowboarding game in the arcade that I remember playing. That was fun. Need for Speed, this is a series that I definitely can get into. I have played Need for Speed games in the past. I love racing games. One of my favorite kinds of games besides shoot 'em ups beat 'em ups driving games. Love all those. This one's fantastic. Burnout. Love Burnout. This is when Burnout was fun. The Burnout games now, I remember one came out for the Switch and I played it, and I couldn't stand it. Um, these were when Burnout games were a lot more fun, so I'm going to enjoy playing this one. It's so crazy to think that this series was out back that far, Fast and Furious. We got Fast and Furious. This would be interesting. I have no idea. Oh, it's got a memory card in it too, so that's awesome. It's always interesting to see what's on the memory cards. So we'll leave that in. 
This one had some value to it too. Uh, Army Men RTS, real-time strategy. So the last time I played an Army Man game uh, was on the N64. I didn't actually know that they put them on um, the PlayStation. Another memory card in there, awesome. And there's also, is this cheat codes? Oh my God, all game cheats. Look at that. Hey, and advertisement for the all new 2008 Ford Focus. <laughs> I didn't open these up. The guy was in the Navy, his father was in the Navy. We were talking about it because uh, I always wanted to join the Navy myself, but never did. And um, he just seemed like a very trustworthy guy. I don't usually do that. I usually check things, but he just was really nice. And he, he saved everything for me too. Snoopy versus the Red Baron. Now, I've never played this, but ironically, I have this on PC. Um, I bought it at Goodwill, and I had no use for it. So it's something that I'm probably going to sell. Any surprises? No surprises in this one. Now, this is interesting. Now I'm opening them up to see if there's uh, an extra game. Like, we have that one extra game. This one feels heavy, or memory card. Secret Weapons over Normandy. So this is another kind of game I'm into is flying games. Love flying games. Um, I played a lot of Ace Combat back in the day. And this one feels thick, but no, it's just got a very thick, very thick book manual. Yeah, games used to come with manuals for you younger, the younger generation out there. This one I played quite a bit. Got an, I think, an F-14 on the front of the cover. That's my favorite plane. Um, Ace Combat. I did play Ace Combat quite a bit. We got to clean these up. This one's got some muck on it. And again, he was older, so I could totally see where he was going with this stuff, like the Atari stuff. And um, so we got the Midway Arcade Treasures. These are always good. No extra specials, but look at complete. So that's good. Older guy. I bet you these games are in good shape. Same thing. Capcom Classic Collection. Definitely keeping this one. That's cool. Complete. Let me check the disc. I haven't checked any of these discs at all. Yeah, they're clean. They're dusty, but they're clean. So that's good. Another 007 game. Maybe I have to try these. Is it, is it too late <laughs> to try these? There's got to be millions of copies of Grand, uh, Grand Theft Auto out there, San Andreas. But yeah, we got another one. Complete. Awesome. This looked cool. I had never seen this one. Heroes of the Pacific. So glad to have this one. Looks like a dog fighting game right up my alley. And a memory card and a blue memory card. Oh my God, that thing's like glued in there. Holy crap. There we go. A blue memory card that's pretty cool i have a few of those but that's cool i'm gonna leave that in there because you know what the games are probably all saved there and then check this one out a playstation 2 or a playstation 1 long box how awesome is that a playstation 1 long box i forgot that this was in the pile because it was with the case games because the playstation 1 games are usually in those little cd jewel cases but this is so cool look at that a playstation 1 long box i forgot to even open them oh my god another memory card And then it's got a, uh, I guess whoever he bought it from, he must have bought it off eBay or something. That's awesome. You don't see long boxes too often. I only have probably three or four of these long boxes in my collection. This is the way PlayStation started out. So this was, was one of probably the more original games. I love these cases. They're cool, but kind of make it awkward on the shelf. Next, we got some PlayStation 4 titles. Um, there's actually, I'm going to give it away. There's a PlayStation 4 in here. Um, he said he maybe played the PlayStation 4 three or four hours. And you know what? Usually when people say that, I don't believe them. This guy, I believe. Um, he said he put it in, he bought a couple games, and then he just kind of put it away. He just doesn't play anymore. So, again, Navy guy. So we got Air Conflicts double pack. Okay, um, complete. Awesome. Look at this. Even PlayStation 4 games still came with manuals. The Golf Club Collection Edition. They were getting rid of this. I'm not into golf. No, no, no. Air Conflicts. Pacific Carrier. Definitely keeping that. I'm going to try this. I still have my PlayStation 4 plugged in, so this is definitely going to get played. And then we got Red Dead Redemption 2. I actually bought this and, believe it or not, never played it. <laughs> um, I heard it's good, but I can't tell you anything about it because I never got to play it. Um, my PlayStation 4 said that it was loading and it was loading and it was loading and it was downloading everything and hours and hours later, it still didn't download it. So I never played this game, probably never will at this point. So that's it for that. And then we kind of gave this away already, but 
we got a PlayStation 4. So we got the one terabyte, got it complete in box, which is awesome. I didn't open this up yet. I'm sure everything's in there. I can feel it's got the right weight to it. Um, so this is pretty cool. I'm excited to have that. Um, could always use another PlayStation 4. And then the most exciting thing is this right here. This is cool. So this right here, um, if you're not familiar with this, this is a rental case. And as soon as I saw this, I knew what it was. I almost had one of these before. I bought one, almost bought one uh, for the Virtual Boy at a video gaming collection uh, convention last year in Hartford, Connecticut. Guys, this is Kevin. Kevin, you got a super awesome item up here. Oh my God. And you said I picked out the one item that you had on consignment? Yes. Holy smokes. You never see these cases. It's a rental case, right? Blockbuster. Blockbuster rental case for Virtual Boy. Is it complete? You got the foam in it and everything? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. He's got me thinking. What's yeah. the, what do we think on it? You said originally 250. Yeah, it's, it's a buddy of mine. Um, I would say 180 is probably the Oh best. my God. He's got me really thinking. All right, we just got here at the show, so I'm, 10 bucks? Yeah, I'll take it. No, no, I'll wrong, take it. Wrong person. <laughs> I don't know. Originally 250, 200, 180, but then he said 10 bucks for the 10 bucks. I, I'll take it. All right, we gotta seriously consider this. I always wanted uh, one of these cases for one of the systems. Could this be the one? If they were getting this year, I'm gonna buy it if it's the same price. He originally wanted 180, I had to go back and watch the video. Um, I wish I bought it, but I only had brought in a certain amount of money with me and I had hit the budget by buying the TurboGrafx Ex Express, which I think was a better move at the time. Now, if I go to the show this year and that um, case is still there, I'm buying it. Um, this one's cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not. It's pretty cool. So what would happen was you would go to Blockbuster or your rental store and you didn't have the console. You didn't have the system and you wanted to test it out. Maybe you wanted to see if it was any good. They did this with the Virtual Boy. They did this with the Nintendo 64, the PlayStation 2, several consoles. Um, it's pretty cool because it's foam packed to, to fit the console perfectly. And it's a cool display piece. And I asked him where he got that because as soon as I saw that in his ad, I knew what it was. And he said that his brother had bought it. His brother did a lot of work for Blockbuster. So that right there, I didn't say anything. What, what a difference. Video. I've never seen 10,000 tapes in one store. That confirmed that it came from Blockbuster. So I was like, that's awesome. The best part about this pickup, and there is a PlayStation 2 in there. Um, the best part about this pickup is all of this was 200 bucks there's no negotiation i didn't even bother the guy like i said he was a veteran it was a great price um the playstation 2 alone i could get my 200 dollars back if i resell that which i probably will because i re i'm sorry the playstation uh both actually the playstation 2 and the 4 i'm probably going to sell because i have two playstation 4s already that i use one in my living room one in my bedroom um and the playstation 2 i have probably a stack of 10 of them so my intention is to sell them this year, um, to do a convention and sell those. I don't know which convention I'm going to end up at. I've talked about this before. It might be uh, the one in Connecticut, in Hartford. It might be the one in Oaks, Pennsylvania. So I'm definitely going to make an effort to um, do that this year and sell. I have a lot of games that I have to get rid of. I have too many. I have a lot of duplicates from buying these. I have games I have games that I don't want. I don't want golf. You know, I don't want this golf game. I have no interest. I don't need to complete a whole collection of something like the PlayStation 4. I have my entire Wii U collection. I'm happy with that. And as I go, I pick up some games for the PlayStation 1 and 2, the ones that I have the best memories of, and we keep them. So, I don't know. Awesome pickup. Let me know if you have any of these games in the uh, below in the comments, or if uh, that Bloody Roar game, I'm curious if anyone's played that. I'm not into fighting games. That's what it looks like. But it's kind of got me curious because I've never seen it before. So leave some comments in the comments below, guys. Until next time, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.